What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel where we break down the most epic and wildest moments in boxing history. Today, we've got a jaw-dropping topic that's been blowing up the boxing world. The official face-off between the undefeated legend, Floyd Money Mayweather, and the knockout king himself, Gervonta Tank Davis. Yeah. You heard that right. The mentor and the student finally went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And let me tell you, it was nothing short of explosive. This is a showdown we've all been waiting for. And things got heated. There's a lot to unpack with this one. First, let's set the stage for what went down. You've got Floyd Mayweather, the man who made the defense look like a ballet and retired with a perfect 50 Nero record. He's been a mastermind in the ring, breaking down opponents like a math problem. But he's not just any retired champ. He's the guy who's been pulling the strings behind the scenes, especially in Tank's career. On the other side, we have Gervonta Davis, a ferocious force of nature with an astonishing 94% knockout rate. This man's fists are literal dynamite, and he's been leaving a trail of destruction in the ring. He's always been under Floyd's shadow, but now he's out to prove he's more than just a protege. He's here to show he can be the king of the ring and not just the prince. So what happens when these two massive egos collide? Let's just say sparks fly, tempers flare, and things get dangerously close to boiling over. We know these two always had a heated rivalry, and Tank has always wanted to dance with Floyd in the ring. Tank has always been compared to Floyd his whole career. This is his shoot to show the world who's better. Everyone wants to see that showdown. Luckily for all the boxing fans, that mega fight will see the light of day sooner than you think as Tank Davis himself revealed that this matchup is taking place later this year. Yep, you heard that right. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. He sat Cruz. Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside of ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. The blood between these two could not run any colder. Floyd's always been the top dog, running the show, but Tank's done being the understudy. He's leveled up and wants to be recognized as more than just a sidekick. He's aiming to outshine the mentor. That face-off on Dazn was supposed to be a chill promo thing, but the second they locked eyes, you could feel the shift. This wasn't business it was beef. From the moment they sat down, you could feel the electricity in the air. Tank didn't just look at Floyd, he stared him down, almost like he was daring him to say something disrespectful. And of course, Floyd being Floyd, he wasn't about to back down. The man knows how to play mind games, and he was pushing Tank's buttons. Gervonta Davis was fired up and ready to throw down. He has been itching for this showdown for years. That face-off with Floyd Mayweather went from zero to chaos real quick, with security having to step in to keep things from exploding. Davis jumped out of his seat, looking like he was about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Floyd right then and there. The tension was through the roof, and it's clear this beef wasn't just for the cameras. This isn't just a fight, it's personal, and it's about to get a whole lot wilder. Why all this heat? Why is Floyd even considering coming out of retirement to fight Tank? It's not like he needs the money. Nah, this is about something deeper. It's about pride, respect, and maybe a little bit of fear that his legacy might not be as untouchable as he thought. Tank's been vocal lately 
letting everyone know he's tired of being in Floyd's shadow. He's tired of being compared, tired of being treated like he's still learning when he's out here knocking people out left and right. He even revealed he's got a deal bigger than any Floyd ever signed. Yeah, you heard that right? The guy they call Money Mayweather got outdone by his own student, and you can bet that did not sit well with him. Uh, set you off that you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh. He said everything. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, like. He, he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. There's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Cause it's been, I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where I thought I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah, that deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's a part that's of it. He, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn, wow. And y'all just and I'm just releasing. <laughs> this is exclusive. That's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Ain't no cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. But wait. It gets juicier. While Tank's been working on his own game, guess who Floyd's been training with? None other than Shakur Stevenson. Now, Stevenson's a beast in his own right, but the fact that Floyd's been spotted in the gym with him, sharing tips and strategies? That's a straight-up betrayal in Tank's eyes. And get this, Floyd's even been giving advice to Tank's potential opponents. Yeah, he's been dropping nuggets of wisdom to Frank Martin on how to take down Davis. If that's not shady, I don't know what is. It's like Floyd's trying to set up a hit on his own guy. And guess what? When Frank finally stepped into the ring with Tank, all that advice went out the window. Frank got put to sleep just like the rest of them. Tank made a statement. You can get all the pointers from Floyd you want, but when you're in the ring with him, it's lights out. I remember you talking about doing the pad work with Floyd, and he said you got the speed and the power to be a world champ. What did that do for your confidence? You can hear that from anybody, but Floyd is Floyd. It was just motivation, you know, because at that time, too, man, I wasn't even, I ain't had an IQ yeah. that I got now. So at that point, I was just really going off natural athleticism. So for him to tell me that at that time, getting deeper in my bag, trying to understand Shit. the game. It's not like basketball where you got to depend on people. It's not like football. Like, the work that you put in reflects directly with your results. People don't even even know the amount of hours that y'all put into this. Yeah. We ain't got no backup. We got a bad day, whatever. We ain't got nobody to come, you know, come through for us. It's all on you. So what's Floyd's deal? Why would he risk his reputation, his legacy, by stepping back into the ring? It's not just about money. The man's practically swimming in cash. It's about respect. Floyd feels like Tank's been throwing shade as if he's not getting the props he deserves for building Tank's career. And let's be real. Without Floyd, would Tank be where he is today? Probably not. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um... But over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. And you know what? Floyd's camp is already talking smack, saying Tank's going to hit the canvas early if they ever step into the ring. Tank's coach, Calvin Ford has clapped back, saying karma's coming for Floyd, and it's going to be brutal. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we see and what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to reveal itself. 
you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said they say the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. They can't stand it, you know. Calm is it? I mean, I I don't like using that word calm, you know. But our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.